maintenance man here and I'm working on a project for Mr. Dog Poop and I thought it was a good opportunity to talk about center punches. Why are we always punching holes before we drill? These are center punches. This is spring loaded and this you hit with a hammer. Spring loaded center punch, you just push down and it punches for you. On a manual center punch, you have to put it on your spot and then hit it with a hammer. They both make holes, they both work, which is the question of which one you want to use. When we have a block of metal, typically scrape a line on it so that for measurements. And then we have these lines that we need to drill. And I'm always coming into those lines and taking a center punch. So this is a little indentation that we made with a center punch. This side doesn't have the center punch. When I go to drill this hole, this drill will fit right into that hole and it won't slip. On this side, I'm gonna go drill and there's no way to keep it still. It's gonna wander and we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. So I'm gonna line this up with the lines, which is gonna be hard because unless you're steady, and then when you go to drill, you're gonna see. So the drill is wandering, as you can see, it wandered down a path and started drilling a hole over here instead of in that spot. On this side, with the center punched hole, it drills right into the spot. If I put this drill here, so you saw that drill just go from here to the little hole that we drilled over here. So if I do this, drill wanders across, but where we have a hole, that's never gonna happen. And that's why we center punch. Whether you want a 50 cent center punch or a $2 center punch, you need a center punch so you can make the quality of stuff that we make here at Mr. Dog Poop Studios. Or you can use something like this and hit it with a hammer. I thought I had a fucking hammer, but I didn't bring it over. 